This video will demonstrate how to use the waveform generator. Here is the entire setup with the two output signals of the signal generator connected to the oscilloscope. This is the Regal DG1000 waveform generator. This model has dual channel output and both channels have the same features. We have channel 1 at the bottom and channel 2 at the top. The two output signals measured by the oscilloscope are displayed at the top left corner. Next to each channel connector, the output button will switch the channel on or off. At the bottom, we have the standard waveforms. Sine, Square, Ramp, Pulse, Noise and Arbitrary. I'm going to set channel 1 as a sine wave. If you want to edit channel 2's properties, you can press this button to select channel 2. I will start by editing channel 1. Currently, channel 1 has a 3 volts peak to peak amplitude and is a sine wave with a frequency of 1 kHz. This middle row can now be used to change the properties of channel 1. You can change the frequency, the amplitude, the DC offset and the phase. I will explain later the align phase button. Now let's adjust the amplitude of channel 1. You can use the keyboard on the right. I'm going to select 1 volt peak to peak. Now channel 1 has a 1 volt peak to peak amplitude. You can also use the rotating knob to adjust the values. You will notice the amplitude of channel 1 changing on the oscilloscope. The left and right arrows can be used to move to other decimal places. I will keep the DC offset and the phase of channel 1 0. And I will keep the frequency at 1 kHz. Now I'm going to select channel 2 and adjust its values. I'm going to select the square wave. You will notice channel 2 changing on the oscilloscope. I'm going to set the frequency to 2. You can select microhertz, millihertz, hertz, kilohertz or megahertz. I'm going to set it to 2 kilohertz. You can also use the rotating knob to change the frequency. You will notice the horizontal adjustment on the oscilloscope for channel 2. I'm going to change the amplitude of channel 2 to 2 volts peak to peak. Next, I'm going to change the DC offset of channel 2. Notice the vertical offset on the oscilloscope for channel 2. Next, I will demonstrate the phase. For this, I will set channel 2 to a sine wave. The phase is currently 0 and it has a frequency of 2 kHz. I will set the frequency the same as channel 1, which is 1 kHz, and I will change channel 1's amplitude to 2 volts peak to peak. You will notice that the two signals on the oscilloscope are not synchronized. You can use the line phase button to synchronize the two signals. Now I'm going to go back to channel 2. I'm going to set the phase of channel 2 to 90 degrees. On the oscilloscope you will see channel 2 has shifted 90 degrees to the left. You can also change the phase to any value. I'm going to set it to 180 degrees. Let's put it back to 0 degrees. Now the two signals are once again synchronized. Finally, it is important to note that the ground clips of each probe are electrically common with each other. They are also electrically common with the oscilloscope's metal frame. 